here at the airport and um, I'm just about to get on the plane flying to Korea. The plan is, I don't know if I'm going to succeed, but the plan is to read 10 books before I get back in seven days. That means more than one book every day. The first one that I'm reading is the 26-story treehouse. Let's see how that goes. Recording in the middle. So I have just arrived at um, Incheon Airport in Korea. I don't really know what time it is, but it looks a little bit late. That was our plane, and uh, did pretty well. I read two and a half books on the plane. Come here, four hour flight, so well, not too bad. Uh, I had my lunch as well. So I will report on these later. Later. Well, I just had dinner. I'm just going back to my hotel. Man, it's cold. It is really cold. Look, you can see my breath. So, when I get back to the hotel, I'm going to tell you about the uh, one of the books that I read today. And, uh, well, it's the 26 Surrey Treehouse. Um, I'm not going to tell you about it out here on the street, though, because it's so cold. The 26-story treehouse was written by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton, just as the 13-story uh, treehouse was also written by these two. We start off with an introduction again to Andy and Terry, and we get the big map of their new, slightly improved treehouse, which has got some new stories, including the Dodgem Car Rink, skate ramp with crocodile pit hazard, mud fighting arena, anti-gravity chamber, ice skating rink with uh, with penguins, a recording studio, a mechanical ball, and interestingly, an automatic tattoo machine. I enjoyed this book a lot. Most of the book focuses on how Andy and Terry met each other and how Terry was living at the top of this tall tower where nothing interesting ever happened and how he was always safe. And then he met Andy who was in a pedalo. And then we, then we look at Andy's story and how he had these really lovely parents, um, but how he became kind of bored and frustrated with them and eventually went out to sea again on a pedalo so that's their backstory. And we also find out about Jill. The main part of the story is about Captain Woodenhead, who's a pirate. I like this book better than the 13-story treehouse because 
I feel that the different parts of the new treehouse actually have more importance in the story. In the 13 story treehouse, you know, the, the, the stories, the, the different levels of the treehouse were kind of funny, but they didn't matter. Here, each of them is important. Uh, the other thing that I quite liked is, again, this is a story about them writing their own story. And in fact, on one page, you can see a picture of the page that you're actually reading, which is kind of weird and, and quite funny. This is definitely a better book than the 13-story treehouse, and I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> 